So what attracted you to Decker is Decking? Because it's not, like, sometimes it's not an easy switch to be, like, uplift your brand and move to something else and start selling a different way. But what was what was the appeal? So decorators came to me, and before they came to me, um, a guy in the lumberyard was like, hey, check this out. What do you think? And this is a year and a half before even talking to decorators. Right. And you, uh, you came on when? You start, You kind of made that switch, like? About five months ago, six yeah. months ago. I was like, okay. I don't know, feel like it was February when you called <laughs> me, and you're like, hey. Yeah. Well, so that's. What's up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I saw it a year and a half ago, and he's like, what do you think of this decking? And I'm like, man this looks great. Like yeah. it doesn't look like anything else. feels good. The traction is, that's the first, like people that haven't walked on a decorator's deck, you walk on a decorator's deck and you immediately notice. I've had numerous people tell me here, man, I just walked on the decorator's deck for the first time. It is grippy. Yeah. Yeah. Super grippy. So like you have to worry for your ACL a little bit when you're over 40, like we are, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Tread carefully. yeah. Play some tennis on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How'd you that blow was, your uh, knee out? Well, I just walked across it really. That was honestly much much the same story of how decorators found its way into our store because when we first started our store we didn't have decorators was not one of our products and one of our manu- or not manufacturers one of our distributors that we were buying other brands from brought it on and they were kind of bringing it to us and be like hey you guys should add this we're like we have five brands we don't need any more brands but it wasn't until voyage came out and they brought it and we're like hey new board here have a look at this and it, like we looked at it again and the, our first response was we've told you we have, we have enough brands we don't need anything like we don't just need another composite board but then you start to look at it, you start to feel it, and you look at the at the uh, benefits and the value of it, and it's like, like how do you not? How do yeah. we not bring yeah. this on? Like, That's there's right. other boards that don't do any of these things. Now this is actually differentiated. It's just not a, another wood plastic composite with a cap on it, a 25 year warranty. Like, it's different. And so we did I tell bring people it on. it's a new iPhone. I say, everything else is good. You have an old iPhone. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. This is the new one though. Yeah. It's the shit. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. tough to argue that if you were to say, what's the what's the best. Uh, composite deck board, composite sorry composite deck board on the market right now like the decorator's voyage line gives probably the, the best bang for your buck as far as a pack of value and, and features and benefits yeah. in the industry and right i now. think the part that's the best about it is that when you say bang for your buck it's like it's actually priced lower than other boards in the industry that yeah, you get probably don't like, perform as good more. yeah right yeah yeah so yeah so i mean me and varney are pretty close so varney calls me like a few months before I even meet Nick and he says, Hey, you know, I'm working with this new board, the company and back to kind of what Varney was saying in the podcast. He's like, this company gives a shit about yeah. the contractors and they're not just going to take you to a steak dinner. Like they're going to help you build your business. Cause I make enough money. I can take myself hunting. I can take myself to a steak dinner, yeah. but my company is going to make me more money. So the fact that people are willing to listen and, do that with us, it it's a big difference, you oh, know. Oh, the old right. teach a guy how to fish strategy. Yeah, eh? yeah. <laughs> so, Varney calls me, tells me, hey, like this product's good, this company is great. Uh, we should we should meet up. So, Nick and Varney come out to California. They're like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I'm gonna take you guys to do something. You're not gonna take me. So I took him out to the desert, and we took my race car out, and um, we had a rollover accident. That'll happen. Yeah. It was fun. That was a you? passenger. Nick. You rolled over? Yeah. No, I was a passenger. Yeah. Oh, who rolled? Brand new car. Brand new car. My friend bought the day before. He rolled it three minutes after it got no. out of the trailer. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, we had a great time in the desert, rolled over, had some bonding experience, and then uh, Nick says to me, he says, hey, we'd like you to try our product out before we talk about anything or you, yep. you even, we want to make sure you like it. Yep. He's like, your yep. first job, we're going to send you material. And if you like it, you like it. And that's how I am too. If I'm going to use something, I need to like it. I need to, it needs to, my guys need to be able to like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's be easy to install, um, needs yep. to perform well. So we tested it for a while and then used it. And we're like, dude, this is a game changer. We love it. Not only like that, I, our customers like it. I think I need to try it for one more job, guys, actually. <laughs> maybe one, and maybe one after that too, yeah, potentially. On the first so time. what was the feedback from your guys? So do you make this, this decision solely or do you really no, no, like I, I, you have- like. So my guys, truthfully, didn't like camo fasteners at first because they've used the Trex clips forever. Right. So when you're switching, it's hard to make that switch when you do the same thing. And they're yeah. like, we're fast with yeah, these so already. Like, we know how to use them. Yeah, they're like, we can, like, those aren't faster. We got to come back. But a lot of the stuff we do is pretty intricate, and it's at an angle. So right. it, it didn't really make sense for us at the time. But now they like them. So, so I could see if you were doing angle stuff like yeah, angle fast using and you're using the x yeah. clips over top of the yeah. edge clip yeah, yeah. That's maybe fine. maybe someday they'll 
take care of that. Yeah. I'll just leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so what was the, the feed? Ether. What was the feedback from um, your crews when they started working? Like so one of my crews, I was taking it to meetings with me. Yeah. And I, well, one thing I used to do is um, I used to be exclusive to a company. Right. And just like, but then I started losing jobs because right. some of my customers would be like, I don't like the way this Trex looks. It's, it's too plastic looking. So then I brought on some timber tech. I'm like, hey, check, take, the, take a look at this. So, like. I'm not going to limit my customers. They're going to do what they want. Jason said to me once, and even Nick said to me, he's like, look, and this is coming from the manufacturer. He said, if your customer has a TimberTech deck, don't sell them a freaking decorator's dock. Like, yeah. have it match. That's, That's stupid. Right. You got a $5 million house. Like, you have the decks, the deck and dock match, you know? Yeah. 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 So I start showing me my customers, start just laying it in there, and I just say, which one do you like the most? Everyone was picking decorators. Right. Yeah, and there's it's like there's not there's never going to be one aesthetic of a board that is going to be universally people are going to say that's the best looking Every stuff. Time. Like there's no doubt that that Voyage is beautiful, but a lot of, a lot of companies have beautiful deck boards, right? Yeah, and some people sure. are going to prefer the look of one versus the other. So to to not like force your customer into an aesthetic that they may not necessarily appreciate. Sure. Um, it's nice that you're yeah. you know the partners that you're working with aren't like slapping your wrist for using something else. But also, I mean, it needs to be my guys can be able to work with it. Yeah, um, my customer needs to like it, and then warranty claim. Like, if the dog, if if it doesn't perform well, like, why are we going to use it? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, the expansion contraction that's a big issue with PVC that we've had, um, and because of all the cold winters you have down there, yeah, like it really wreak <laughs> havoc down in San Diego. I bet. Hey, oh, 